Welcome. Today we will be disassembling a Dell Precision 5520. And for this, you're going to need a Torx T5 and a small Phyllis bit. I'm using a 2.5. So I'll go ahead and remove all of the exterior screws and also the two Phillips heads underneath a little flip cover. All right, so now we can remove the bottom cover and set it aside. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery. So I'm gonna unplug the connector. Just use your fingernails and pull that baby straight out. Then we'll go ahead and remove the screws. Next, we'll go ahead and pull these memory sticks, spread the little bars, pull it out. Then we'll go ahead and remove the SSD drive. So remove the little screw, pull it out. And we will get the Wi-Fi card. Remove the retainer for the antennas. Pop those antennas up straight off, and then you can remove the card. All right, now let's go ahead and remove the cooling fans. So first I'm gonna remove these connectors. And then the screws holding the fan, fans and heat sink. If you're planning on reinstalling um, the heat sink on another motherboard or just replacing the heat sink, uh, you're going to want to tighten it down in the order of uh, these numbers here that are marked on the heat sink. So removing them, not a big deal, but you want to follow the numbers if you're uh, tightening the heat sink back on after you've applied the, uh, the CPU paste, the cooling paste. All right, so now we can go ahead and remove the cooling fans. And the heat sink. All right, next we can remove the motherboard. So what we're gonna wanna do is remove all the connectors. So I'll start here with the display and just pull up on the little loop here and it'll pop right off. Same for the uh, this connector right here. And you're just gonna pull it straight out and then it comes right out. And then for these type, there's a little, little retainer that you flip up and then it will let go of the ribbon.
So it looks like we got all the ribbons. Now we can go ahead and unscrew the motherboard. So once you've got all the ribbons and the screws, you can go ahead and lift up. Oops, looks like we have one more for the speakers over here, a little tiny one. Really helps to have fingernails. But if you don't have fingernails, you can use a little flat blade tool to get under the little notch on the connector and then pull it straight up. We have the motherboard. All right, so it looks like the DC jack is retained by the hinge, so we can go ahead and separate the palm rest assembly from the display assembly. So we can go ahead and remove the hinge screws. So now that we have the hinge screws removed, we can go ahead and move the hinge out of the way. Okay, so now we can get that little DC jack out of there. Looks like it's retained by a small Phillips. Also now go ahead and separate the palm rest from the display assembly. Just tilt it up, just like that. All right, so you can see the inside of the palm rest here. Um, you have the speakers, keyboard, touchpad. So if you need to replace the keyboard, you have the screws around the perimeter and down the middle, and then for the touchpad, um, just around here at the top. And it looks like the speakers are just kind of held in there by some tape. So that is the palm rest. All right, so we are gonna be leaving the display as a complete unit, um, but this display, like most others, um, you separate the bezel from the rest of the display assembly. On this particular model, it is glued all the way around. So you're, the place you wanna actually try to work it free from is on the inside along here, not where the metal and the plastic kind of meet. So just a, around the crease inside the bezel here, carefully work your way around and then the bezel should come off and then you'll have access to the hinges and the webcam and the rest of the LCD. So if this video helped you or you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.